have a sink here. And you might remember these pink and blue water from our last experiment together. I have a sink, as you can see. And we're going to add bubbles to the pink and to the blue. I don't know what happens, but I want you to make a guess. What do you think is going to happen to the cold water versus what you think is going to happen to the warm water? Why do you, why do you think there's going to be a difference? And what, and what do you think the bubbles do? Answer, you can pause the video and answer these questions before we start. Maybe write them down on a piece of paper. Now, let's start. We have pink water. Now, we can't do too much, so let's put a little bit. I might put a lot, I'm sorry. A little bit is that. Okay. Let's look at that many bubbles. Now that I have our dish, our Dawn dish soap, sorry, it's hard for me to say that sometimes. We're going to be putting it in the water. Here we go, I'm going to hold it for a little bit. I'm a little bit scared. Here we go. Now notice what happens before it reaches the top of the cup. It turns a little bit pur more purple and has bubbles on top instead of it just being smooth. More water! That's what happens when it has cold water. It, it, it turns to a little bit of a darker color and there's lots of bubbles. Sorry, I can't wash my hands right now. I wish I had towels with me. Or at least more towels. Now we have the blue. Let's put a little bit. Okay, no bubbles this time. Just know that was cool. Okay, we have ours. Now let's pour it in there. And that's what happens. We get to the top. This is getting a little bit lighter in color. And there's more bubbles. If you guess this, then you're doing good so far. But let's see what happens when it goes over to the top. Whoa, it, it stays in form for a little bit at the top and then evaporates. Whoa, it looks like a, crisp, a crystal blue icy color. Okay, so that is what happens when, when you add bubbles and see them explode. I will see you guys next time. Shane, out.